Hey guys, it's Nicola. If you are not following me on Instagram, please do so. I will be doing daily readings on Instagram every day on IGTV. My Instagram username is Nichola. That's K-N-E-E. C-H-O-L-A. I'll put it on the screen. I'll also put it in the description. I'll also put the link directly to my Instagram in the description. So you guys can also be you guys can also watch the daily readings over here and watch a collective reading um, on Instagram. The messages are slightly different. Um, I've already completed the one for today. So you guys can hop on over there and watch that. But like I said, if you're not following me on Instagram, please do so. That's all I have, y'all. Peace. Let's see what messages we have. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for August 9th, 2019. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ooh, all right. So we have Angel of Self-Worth. Okay, so it says you are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. With Angels of Families, it says the angels surround both you and your families at the moment. We also have the angel of space clearing. So I believe there's a situation dealing with your family that you're needing to clear. Um, you're needing to you're needing to clear up some negative space in your life in order to have abundance coming in. So let's see what messages we got. What messages do we have? Scorpio Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages guidance for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? For Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for August the 9th, 2019. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages, guidance. For Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Ooh. Okay. Some of you guys are needing to resist some things. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You're in the space of waiting. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, August the 9th. All right. We need some positive messages. All right. Four of Pentacles. Not starting off. So I feel like you need to be discerning of what you're holding on to. I feel like some of you guys are needing to really focus on your own earthly power, meaning your own value. You need to hold on to your own value. With the star card here, this is about, you could be dealing with Aquarius, but this is about being on the right path. The seven of pentacles here in the past, the seven of pentacles popped out twice in my shuffle. I, lit, I legit put it back in there because I did not want it to be a part of the reading, especially with the reading I just got for the fire signs, which I feel like this is connected. With the four of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, some of you guys got fire in your chart because a lot of times the water and the fire are connected. But I feel like here... You could be holding on to a situation that will not produce any more fruit. I feel like you've gotten what you were supposed to get from the situation. And I feel like there's a need for you to move forward and get on the right path. Subconsciously, with the world card, there's an ending and beginning. You see all those eyes there? You see the truth. You know the truth. She got an eye on top. She got an eye on the, where her third eye is supposed to be. And even an eye in the middle of her. This is her solar plexus. So I feel like here you need to see with the world card. You need to see in the solar plexus that it's time for you to move. The solar plexus is all about movement and confidence. So I feel like you need to see your own worth. Queen of Pentacles here, most definitely needing to make compassionate. Check out the air sign reading because this was the outcome of the air sign reading. So I feel like you guys and you guys may have air in your chart as well because I got the Queen of Swords. This is almost... This is almost the opposite of the air sign reading. So I feel like here, the, underneath all this, you could be holding on to a situation that you're needing to speak your truth about. This is not the opposite. This is almost exactly the air sign reading. Like, dead ass. I feel like you need to be more compassionate to self and you need to see that it's time for you to move forward. So with the star card here, this is about your hopes and fears. Why is the star card here? We got the universe here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Eight of Wands underneath there. Two of Wands. So you're at a crossroads here. Um, the universe talks about endings and beginnings, talks about completing a cycle, job being well done. The thing about it is with the universe and the Eight of Pentacles, you may need to get into the new path is going to require some work. The work is releasing the burden. So some of you guys are holding on to burdens that need to be released. You're creating more work than is necessary. With the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, with the Chariot, I feel as though you're deceiving yourself by putting in work into a situation that may have already ended. 
I'm trying to fix that. My apologies. I feel like you need to take on the Cancerian energy. Could be talking about a Cancer, but take on the Cancerian energy of really focusing on making a Focusing on moving forward, the Queen of Pentacles energy is talking about making compassionate decisions for your own foundation. And the Eight of Wands is also about moving forward. I got two eights on this one card with a star card. So some of you guys are needing to move toward a new cycle in order to get on the right path because you're in some sort of cycle that needs to, that needs, you need to put an end to the cycle. So Seven of Pentacles here. You need to put an end to the cycle. It's time for you to move forward. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? I feel like you have anxiety about it because you feel as though you can't provide for yourself, but you are able to. So with the Seven of Pentacles and the... Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But the thing about it is inner strength, two of swords. You're blocking your inner strength. The fear that you have, your ego, is blocking your inner strength. So you're in this space of waiting, of trying to see if something will come into fruition. But like I'm telling you, you see that one flower down there? Whatever you've had within the situation has already come into fruition. You're basically pruning this one little flower. There's nothing else that can grow from this barren land. There's no water. You need water. You need vegetation in order for something to grow. There's nothing there. It's just that one flower that you've already come that has already come to bloom. So this means that you do need to work on building something else for self. You need to work on, and this is another eight. So you do need to work on getting out of the cycle and really gaining the strength to remove the blindfolds, to a source, seek whatever this is clearly, really bring peace to yourself by really releasing yourself from this devil type of energy. Some of you guys are needing to really fight against your own demons and another eight with the eight of cups under here so this is about going through an emotional growth some of you guys are needing to set your sets higher and search for something more than what you have with the nine of swords and your surrounding energy we have the six of cups with the four of cups that's ten cups Knight of Pentacles. So some of you guys have anxiety about this relationship ending um, because of some responsibilities or because how long. Some of you guys, this has to do with the time that you've invested. For some of you guys, you've been in this situation for a long time and you've been waiting for a long time for something new to come about within this connection. Ten cups here. There's an end. There's nothing else that you can gain from this situation. With the sun card here, I really, death card up under there, I really think that it's time. That is the balance here. With the Two of Pentacles and the Magician, once you take action and create harmonious change here, the transformation will happen and then you'll be happy. But you're having anxiety, so you're you're creating blockages. Like, look at her. She's stuck off in her own type of energy. You're having anxiety about this situation because for some of you guys, you have children within the situation. For some of you guys, you have been with this person for a long time and you're not allowing yourself to open up emotionally to receive anything nor give anything. So I need you to be aware of that. Because you're not open with the four of cups, because you're not opening up, that means you're not even able to love this person that you're holding on to efficiently because you feel like there's nothing else that you have to give. So in order for you to receive more, you're not going to give up. You're not going to hold on to four of cups when you got six cups here. This is an abundance of, of balanced love. So you're not going to hold on, or I hope that you would choose not to hold on to those four cups when you can have so much more. Okay. All right. So let's see. In the subconscious here, we have the world part. Why is this world part here? Why is this world part here? All right. So we got the ace of pentacles here with the, this is the hermit, the five of pentacles, the Hierophant, some of you guys are worried about being at a lack. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus, could be dealing with the Virgo, um, but this is about a codependent relationship that needs it. Like literally Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, that's Six of Pentacles, that's Six Pentacles. So there needs to be balance in this relationship, but in order to get balance in this relationship, you really got to let go of the Five Pentacles, let go of the of the challenges in order to go toward Ace of Pentacles, a brand new life, a brand new gateway. The Ace of Pentacles is a gateway to a new life. It literally, you see that big ass portal there? It's literally a portal to having abundance for self. But with the Hermit here and the Chiron here, I really feel as though with these two energies, you're needing to really go within yourself 
to really contemplate and meditate on this connection so that you can see clearly what it is. I feel like for some of you guys, either you're dealing with a Taurus, so this is a Taurus card, or this is about you taking on this King of Pentacles type of energy, understanding that you have value, you are King Midas, everything that you touch will turn to gold once you're in this vibration. So you really need to take on the chariot and the King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, because it says the chariot of the earth. So you need to take on both of those energy and be motivated in obtaining or accepting new opportunities that are being presented to you. But because you have this nine of swords, which is in your exterior as well as in your subconscious, because you have this nine of swords, this anxiety, you're creating despair and cruelty in your life with the nine of wands that you're needing to overcome. The key to all of this is, you know, with the high priestess, you see that, you know, with the high priestess that you need to overcome it, but you have anxiety about doing so. Why is this queen of pentacles the outcome here? Why is this queen of pentacles? I think you need to set roots within your own foundation. Focus on being able to provide and nurture for self, not just financially, but emotionally, physically, and spiritually. With the three of wands here, you could have some expectations. You're needing to stop looking on the exterior for your strength and look within yourself for your strength. With the Six of Pentacles and the King of Wands, you're needing to focus on creating balance for yourself by seven swords escaping a situation that is unstable. So some of you guys are aware that you're in an unstable structure, you're in an unstable connection. You're needing to focus on moving away from that. So let's see what guidance we have. What guidance do we have from our water sign? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, this is definitely a cycle, guys, because it seems like every couple of months or every couple of weeks, it looks like we go through the same cards, water signs. We go through the same cards, and then you'll get to a point to where you're you're feeling free, you start moving forward, and then your anxiety hits, and you get back into this kind of uh, what do I do? What do I do? Stuck in a cycle again. This is a cycle that has to be overcome. And you have the ability to overcome by releasing the emotions and allowing yourself to really flow free. You're closing in your emotions and you're becoming stagnant within your own energy. With the nurture yourself card that fell out, the take charge of the situation purification. Some of you guys, in order to have this flow of prosperity in your life, you're needing to take charge and nurture yourself. Purify yourself of anything that is not within the best or highest vibration for self. This is all I have. Until next time, guys. Peace.